made a, a blue piece. It's a blue recipe, but made with swipe and scoop and drag. And now I'm gonna try something else. So this is the gray background. I don't know if it's maybe too thin. We'll see. This is going to be a swipe. So not a traditional boom. And I'm still learning this technique, so I'm not sure how much paint there should be on the canvas and the consistency, you know. It's a lot of things to learn. But I won't learn it unless I try, right? Well, there's a lot of bubbles. I'm gonna pack the bubbles real quick and speed the video up for you guys.
let me bring in for a close up. So, I pretty soon thought this is going to be a hot mess and chaotic. Um, I like the simplicity and negative space, you know, but now I'm just looking at the cells here. It's the blue black looks looks fine. I like the white lines. I hope they stay that way. And this one is um, it's a primary element and it kind of bleeds out and I actually kind of like it. In the other corner it's golden iridescent gold fine and it stays within the cells. Now I don't know if the black here if it's the cell activator that's overstretched or no I don't think it's the pepe or blue black I think it's the black cell activator what do you think guys I know it's chaotic and composition is lackful at least but what do you think any advice um, I'm definitely going to play with this some more. It's an exciting journey with more than one uh, technique. It's difficult and I'm, I have a lot to learn. So any advice, mostly appreciated. And if you like this video, please consider to subscribe to my channel if you, doesn't, if you don't just subscribe already and hit the like button. And and have a great day. Stay safe out there. Bye.